Hey y'all, welcome back to the Fire and Water Cooking Channel. I'm Darren, and today we're going to do a comparison cook. I'm actually going to do, these are, they're chuck roasts, but they were labeled shoulder roasts from uh, my supermarket. So I label them as chuck roast, but um, they had them labeled as beef shoulder roast. They're both kind of smaller, about uh, maybe about two pounds each. But I got them all packaged up, vacuum sealed already. I did season them with my beef rub. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to compare the two. I'm going to sous vide this one at like 138 for 24 hours. And then we're going to, on this one, I'm actually just going to cook that on the barbecue itself. And I'm going to try to hit that medium doneness um, by using just the grill and a uh, thermometer. But this one has to go in tonight or today for the... Uh, for the cook tomorrow so I'm gonna sous vide it um, so this has to go in for 24 hours this one we're gonna put back in the refrigerator and throw it on the grill tomorrow hopefully this one will only take four four hours or so maybe a little bit less uh, by cooking it on the grill but then we're gonna kind of see which one comes out better which one is ten more tender the doneness level all that see which one actually looks tastes and the tenderness, uh, see how they all turn out together. So, so I, I'm gonna go ahead and throw this one in the uh, sous vide bath for 24 hours at 138, and then we'll see you guys tomorrow for the rest of the. Put um, a meat probe in it so we can monitor the temperature of it. I'm gonna keep it on this rack so it's easier for me to get on and off. And right now it's reading 51 degrees, and we're gonna wait till that gets up to right around 138 to 140. Hey, all I'm back, and I just pulled this uh, shoulder roast out of the sous vide. So I'm going to go ahead and pat it dry. And we're, I've got the, um, got the sear box on my Camp Chef heating up and uh, the shoulder roast that's on the grill is sitting at like, like 145 or so internal temperature right now. So it's, it's pretty much done as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and season this up just a little bit more with just a little bit more of the beef rub, uh, just to make up for some that might've came off during the sous vide. Just a little bit, not too much at all, because uh, we don't want it too salty or, and uh, just enough to replace some that came off during the uh, sous vide bath. So that's it, and I'm gonna go throw it on the uh, sear box and get some color to this and take the other one off, and we're gonna put them side by side and see what they look like together. So I'll be Hopefully right back. Hopefully got a good angle here. See how that is turning out. It's looking pretty good there. It's got a nice red, mahogany red color there. And this is my sear box. That's all, whew, that's up pretty hot right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw the sous vide one right on there. And then I'm gonna close it up. I got that set to high, so that's very hot. So we're gonna sear that up just uh, for it's a couple been, minutes, about a minute. Side. So I'm gonna go ahead and flip that over here. Yeah, so it's got some grill marks on it already. So give that another minute on that side. And it's and been another I'll minute. And this uh, sear box on the Camp Chef is supposed to get up to about eight or nine hundred degrees and I'm gonna I'm gonna give it another 30 seconds or so on that side uh, I haven't really measured it <laughs> but uh, it does get pretty hot so I'm gonna get about another 30 seconds 40 seconds on this side and then we'll do it again on the other side and then we'll be done we'll bring these both in the house all right guys I got them off the uh, grill and they look both look pretty good the uh, sous vide one looks a little darker and I got those um, you know, 
grill marks on there. The uh, smoker only one though has its own different d different look to it. It's got that real red mahogany color that you usually get when you smoke something for a long time. Um, this looks more like a steak. This more looks like a, a roast or a brisket or you know ribs when you do those uh, on the smoker. So this one here is probably going to be just a little bit more a little tougher, but. Um, Kind of on the end. Ooh, it's got a nice smoke ring to it. I'll show you that. Make sure you guys can see that. It's got a nice smoke ring to it. Um, it's still a little juicy. I can see some juice in there. But it does definitely have a nice smoke ring to it. I'm going to go ahead and cut this sous vide and grilled one. Now, this one does look a little bit more medium but it doesn't have a smoke ring but it does look more like a medium roast it's not medium rare because I didn't cook it medium rare I cooked it more along the medium line and this is right on the edge so you can tell that uh, it came out pretty much medium across the board it is a little juicy so I'm gonna go ahead and give them both a taste see which one's which here so this is the sous vide one I'll give that one first give that a bit right into a piece of fat um, which really is not that bad I can it's a little chewy right there where that sinew goes through but I went right right through it pretty easy so this is kind of the same it's got that little bit of sinew right there but I'm gonna go ahead and take a bite of this and very flavorful um both of them are this one is just a little bit more chewy this one's had the benefit of being in the sous vide for 24 hours so um we got that going for it it is a little bit less done because of that um cooking at 138 the whole time the un internal temperature of this probably turned out around more like a 145 or so 148 probably by the time it was done but both of them are really good just a little bit different texture and I guess it all depends on what you're looking to accomplish out of it this is a little bit more tender a little bit less done than this one this one's got a different flavor profile it's got more smoke to it because it sat on the smoker for uh, four hours so um, it's got a nice smoke ring to it both of them are really good I say try it both ways because it all depends on what you're looking to get and what you're um, what you're wanting as far as your final product this one is more steak like more medium done a little bit more tender this one is more smoky more briskety type you know uh, doneness roast done try out both of them guys done. I think they're both great um, Make sure you subscribe and follow like us on video. Facebook and our Facebook group and our Facebook page. Follow us on Twitter. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next video.